Welcome to the EWTN Religious Catalog. This program features Mother Angelica with some of her favorite holy reminders. Good books, rosaries, beautiful art, statues, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. There are also many other special items for your consideration. To order, call our toll-free number 24 hours a day at 1-800-854-6316 or visit www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com. We accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. We also accept money orders and personal checks in U.S. dollars. And now here is Mother Angelica. Well, hello there and welcome to our religious catalog show and don't forget this is a service so please don't let it replace your contribution to EWTN. Now first many of us have wondered what is Benedict rule? What is the way of life that St. Benedict encouraged him? You know he was a hermit for a long long time and so we have here, listen, my son, St. Benedict for fathers. Well, are you a father, huh? Well, I would get this book. It's a beautiful book on the rule of St. Benedict and how you can live it. It doesn't mean you have to be a religious. But, you know, we really have to show God and the public that we want to live our religious life and live our Catholicity. Now we have a nice rosary here for St. Benedict. And I'm about to sneeze, which I already did. Okay. Now this is the St. Benedict rosary. It's not any different. It's a rosary rosary. However, here's the medal. These medals are very powerful against Satan. And here, even in this little crucifix, there's a St. Benedict medal. You're going to be doubly blessed if you buy this crucifix. It's black, and it's very pure, wonderful for young boys and men. So, if your husband needs one, and you know it's powerful. You should say it every day, but it's powerful even to have it in your pocket. I don't go anywhere without my rosary. Now, you know, one time on the air, I talked about a book I was reading. It is fascinating. And it, it's awesome, just awesome. I've encouraged everyone to read it. And I'm sure a lot of you heard it. My, all of my sisters read it. At first they said, oh, Mother, it's just another book. I said, no, it's not. It is not just another book. It's written by Michael Brown. And it's written almost like a history book, but you cannot stop reading it once you start. You know, this author spent a whole year interviewed over 300 of the world's leading scientists and it's a book you can understand and he got a lot of fascinating information on and the various times in history way back and and recently and it's a kind of wake-up call but it's an interesting you know you you read some books they're all fire and brimstone and but this book, I don't know, the way it's written, it's, uh, it's just a great, great book. It talks about the earthquakes, tidal waves, storms, droughts, plagues, volcanoes, and everything else. Uh, and why? You know, we hear about those things, but we're almost scandalized. We say, why does these things happen? Why? Well, it happened to the Greeks, it happened to the Egyptians, it happened to the Roman Empire. And if we don't straighten up, it's going to happen to us. 
So I would like you to have it. If you don't have it, if you do have it, I'm sure there's a lot of people would love to read it. By the same author, there is this other book called Prayer of the Warrior. Uh, it's a prayer against evil. You know, it seems the word evil seems to be synonymous with our culture and the way the world's going. There's little doubt as to whether it exists or not. But it's everywhere. What people say and do and think just doesn't make any sense. We need to be able to identify it so you don't fall into it. You know, so pervasive is the acceptance of wrong in our society that you can't believe what people do. And this book explains why most people do what they do, because they're under the influence of the enemy. And there's nothing that smacks of God or resembles God, everything. Even your art sometimes is ugly, ugly. Why? It's either a square, rectangle, brown. It doesn't have any shape, any anything. Beauty, beauty reminds us of God. Ugliness, somebody else. Also, we have a book on St. Michael and the Angels. Uh, it's from Tan Publication, and I you know who wrote this, huh? Do we know? It just says Tan Publications, I guess. No, no, it doesn't. Anyway, you can read one of these little chapters every day. It's all about Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, your guardian angels, the seven angels before the throne of God. Fill with stories, but they're not story stories, nobody made them up, but real events that people experience with their guardian angels or some of the other angels that God has put over us, over our city, over our country, over everything. And, and this is, this is so interesting because it gives you light. And I hope when you read it, you will want to talk to your angel. We also have two watches here. And they're very nice. One is St. Michael. This is for a man and this is for a lady. Aren't they pretty? So every time you go to the time, you see St. Michael. It's gold plated and stainless steel back, see? Stainless steel, right here, I can't open it. But anyway, it's worth it. Just to have St. Michael, something that you can look at. It's black leather and I call it a heavenly watch. <laughs> and it's important, time is important in our lives. Now we have here a, let's see if I can get a hold of it. Yeah, this is a, St. Michael Holy Water Fountain. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? Made in Italy. And this is another reminder of the power of St. Michael. Hmm? I'm going to put that right here. Now here is Doug with a recap of everything I've spoken about on this program and how you can go about ordering it, and I hope you will. You know, a lot of these things make really good presents, especially for birthdays, weddings, anniversaries. Well, we're going to let the duck take over now, and then I'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes. Thanks, Mother, but first here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. St. Michael has long been honored for his defense of the church the people of God. The archangel is mentioned by name in the book of Daniel and in other places of the Bible. During the year of the family, 
Pope John Paul II warned us of the war waged for souls, saying, May prayer strengthen us for the spiritual battle we are told about in the letter to the Ephesians. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. The book of Revelation refers to this same battle, recalling before our eyes the image of St. Michael the Archangel. Pope Leo XIII certainly had this picture in mind when, at the end of the last century, he brought in throughout the church a special prayer to St. Michael. Today we have several items devoted to this great intercessor and protector of the faith. First is this St. Michael the Archangel icon. The vivid image of St. Michael is hand-painted on a silver-plated cover with turquoise accents. The icon measures 12 inches by 15 inches and is imported from Poland. This intricate nightlight is called the St. Michael lithophane. The lithophane is a porcelain engraving which, when lit from behind, becomes a fascinating work of art. This lamp can easily be displayed on a tabletop or hung on a wall. The night light is framed by solid hardwood with a dark cherry satin finish. And next we have a prayer to St. Michael desk plaque. It is engraved with the prayer, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Made of stone from the Holy Land, the plaque includes a matching easel and measures four inches by two and three quarter inches. And next we have several medals devoted to St. Michael. This round St. Michael medal with prayer is made of sterling silver and measures three quarter inches in diameter. On the back of the medal reads the prayer, St. Michael, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, pray for us. It comes on a 24 inch stainless steel chain. Because St. Michael is such a powerful warrior, he is also the patron saint of men and women in the armed forces. These service medals make perfect holy reminders for servicemen and women. Each is made of sterling silver and features the name and emblem of the service and the words, St. Michael, protect us. On the front of the medal, the back of each medal has a detailed engraving of St. Michael. The metal measures one inch and comes on a 24 inch rhodium chain. This is the Air Force Service Medal. And this medal honors the Army. Here is the medal for members of the Marines. And here we have the medal honoring members of the Navy. When St. Michael appeared to a Portuguese Carmelite nun, he asked her to honor him by nine salutations to the nine choirs of angels. St. Michael promised that whoever would practice this devotion in his honor would have, when approaching Holy Communion, I love this, an escort of nine angels chosen from each of the nine choirs. In addition, for those who would recite the chaplet daily, he promised his continual assistance and that of all the holy angels during life. This St. Michael chaplet will help you practice this powerful devotion. Made of beautiful Swarovski crystal beads with sterling silver medals, this unique chaplet was designed by the poor Clares and Mother Angelica. The detailed St. Michael medal features the prayer, Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle on the front, 
and quis ut Deus, who is like unto God, on the back. We also have this attractive glass bead chaplet of St. Michael. It has a sterling silver medal and center. The prayer on the back reads, St. Michael, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, pray for us. And next we have the Chaplet of St. Michael CD. This is the audio version of the prayer shown on EWTN each morning at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. We also have this prayer on DVD and both were recorded at the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament in Hansville, Alabama, featuring Mother Angelica and the nuns of Our Lady of the Angels Monastery praying this beautiful devotion. Each recitation of the chaplet comes on one disc with a running time of 25 minutes. This St. Michael Cord Chaplet Kit would be a perfect gift to encourage the faith of your older children or teenagers. The finished chaplet of durable, colorful nylon cord is approximately 20 inches long and is great for carrying in your pocket, backpack, or purse. Each kit comes with red, purple, green, blue, and gold nylon cords, the St. Michael medallion, clear instructions, directions for praying, a short synopsis of the history and importance of the chaplet, and one rosary tool. And finally, we have two reminders of St. Michael for your garden or patio. Made of solid cedar wood that is stained with an exterior grade walnut stain, this is the St. Michael Outdoor Shrine. The image of St. Michael is on a removable aluminum plaque. The shrine measures 12 and 3 quarter inches by 17 inches. We also have this beautiful St. Michael Outdoor Statue. This 24 inch St. Michael statue was molded from the original sculpture and then cast into durable polyvinyl resin. It was then painted with a bronze finish. Please don't forget to visit our website, www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com to see many other beautiful holy reminders of not only St. Michael, but of all your favorite saints. And now here's Doug to tell you how to order any of these special items honoring St. Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Host. Thanks, Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has spoken about on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders from Mother Angelica was the book, Listen, My Son, St. Benedict for Fathers by Father Dwight Longnecker. Priced at $18, item number 8561 for the book, Listen, My Son, St. Benedict for Fathers. In that same vein, we have the St. Benedict Rosary, priced at $18, item number is 718R for the St. Benedict Rosary. It's a black bead rosary. Next, we have the book, Sent to Earth by Michael Brown, priced at $15, item number is 1473, paperback edition, Sent to Earth. We also have Michael Brown's work, Prayer of the Warrior, item number 3100, item number 3100, priced at $15, also a paperback edition, 236 pages of Prayer of the Warrior by Michael Brown. Next, we have St. Michael and the Angels, a book on them, priced at $9, item number 17410, paperback edition, 133 pages, St. Michael and the Angels. Speaking of St. Michael, we have the Watch for Men, STMLG, for the large face, priced at $40. That's for the men. And for the ladies, it's STMSM for small. And that's the small face edition, each priced individually at $40 for the men's or the ladies' edition of the St. Michael Watch. And closing things out for Mother Angelica is the St. Michael Holy Water Font, made of resin, imported from Italy. Priced at $69, item number is 2342F for the St. Michael Holy Water font. Now moving on to the items that Barbara has presented. First up from Barbara was St. Michael the Archangel Icon. Now it's priced at $300. It's imported from Poland, measures 12 inches by 15 inches. Item number 85P, St. Michael the Archangel Icon. 
Next from Barbara was the St. Michael Littlefane. SB182 is its item number, priced at $38, the St. Michael Littlefane. Next, we have the Prayer to St. Michael desk plaque, priced at $27, item number 476, measuring four inches by two and three quarter inches, the Prayer to St. Michael desk plaque. We also have the St. Michael medal with prayer, made of sterling silver, priced at $36, item number S1601, the St. Michael medal with prayer. Next, we have the United States Armed Forces Service Medals for your consideration, each individually priced at $39 for each branch. Now for the Air Force Service Medal, it's L65AF for Air Force. Next, we have the Army Service Medal, L65AM for Army. And the Marine Service Medal is L65MR for Marines. And likewise, there's a Navy edition, it's the Navy Service Medal, L65NY for Navy, each individually priced at $39 each. Next, we have the St. Michael Chaplet, priced at $115. And this unique chaplet was designed by the Poor Clares and Mother Angelica. And it's item number C1608 for the St. Michael Chaplet, quite unique. Next, we have the glass bead chaplet of St. Michael, priced at $50. Item number C1614 for the glass bead chaplet of St. Michael. Or there's the chaplet of St. Michael itself, recorded at the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament in Hansville, Alabama, as featured on EWTN. Each priced at $15 is the CD, or the audio version, HCCSM, that's for the CD. Or if you'd like to see it as well, it's on DVD, that's HDCSM. That's the Chaplet of St. Michael on CD or DVD, and each individually priced at $15. Next, we have the St. Michael Cord Chaplet Kit priced at $13, item number 767 for the St. Michael Cord Chaplet Kit. Next, we have the St. Michael Outdoor Shrine that Barbara shows priced at $50, item number SH189. It measures 12 and 3 quarter inches by 17 inches. It's the St. Michael Outdoor Shrine. Likewise, we have the bronze St. Michael outdoor statue that Barbara showed us wrapping up her items. Priced at $95, item number 2470B, measuring 24 inches in height, the bronze St. Michael outdoor statue. So if you'd like to order any of these items, just give us a call. 24 hours a day at our toll-free number, which is 1-800-854-6316. Or just check out our website, www ew10religiouscatalog.com to see all of the items on this particular program and the thousands of items we feature in our catalog on our website. And you can order using Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and or American Express. And now with some closing thoughts and comments, here is our own Mother Angelica. Well, here we are back and I just can't get over this book, you know, and I hope you'll buy it. I, if you start on it, you won't be able to put it down. And you wonder, why did all these things happen to people? Well, if you look today, I don't know. People are getting further and further and further away from God. He is a good, holy Father. God is our Father. He decided we would be way back. And then we came to be through his wondrous power, and he wants us to spend our life in heaven with him, not down the lower region. He didn't create anybody for there. But sometimes we don't know. And I think this book will explain a lot of the, even today's things, you know, we have a lot of things happening. Well, we'll see you again next week. God bless you.